We want to turn our attention now to the recovery of Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, and the news from there continues to amaze so many. One reason we could be seeing such an incredible recovery could be her husband, who's been at her side throughout nearly this entire ordeal. And he is now talking about what the experience has been like. Also, his wife's seemingly unimaginable will to live. She will not give up. CBS News national correspondent Ben Tracy is in Tucson this morning with the very latest. Ben, good morning. Good morning, Erica. You know, after the shooting, 11 people were rushed here to the University Medical Center. As of this morning, there is just one injured person left and then Congresswoman Giffords. And as you mentioned, her husband, Mark Kelly, is now speaking out about that tragic event. When Mark Kelly first heard the news that his wife, Gabrielle Giffords, had been shot, he says he was devastated after seeing the initial news report. I had the TV on and then saw that she died for about 20 minutes. The emotional roller coaster continued when Kelly got word from his mother-in-law that Giffords was critical, but still alive. Since we found out that she didn't die, and it's been a gradual improvement every day. In an interview with our Tucson affiliate, KOLD, Kelly says while Giffords knows she's in a hospital, she doesn't yet know why she's there. I've talked to the doctors about that. See, the best thing to do in, in this case with this kind of situation is not to not to tell her all at once, but to, when she starts asking questions about it, just answer the question. Inspired by her remarkable progress, Kelly is setting goals for his wife's recovery, even designating a date by which he hopes she'll start speaking. Well, I put her on a schedule. I whispered the schedule in her ear, and I've told the neurosurgeons uh, what I want her to be able to do by when. So she knows what that is, and she's, she's very good with plans and schedules, and she's a very hard worker. God bless you. Another victim of the shooting spree, Susie Heilman, left the hospital Monday night. She is the one who brought her neighbor, Christina Taylor Green, to meet her congresswoman that fateful Saturday. Nine-year-old Christina was shot and killed. Her cornea is donated, now saving the eyesight of two other children. We've had a lot of ups and downs, as you can imagine, all week. Um, but that was probably the biggest uplifting phone call that we got. An army of investigators is now looking into accused gunman, 22-year-old Jared Loeffner. More than 250 FBI agents and 130 local detectives are working the case. They say Loeffner's parents, seen in this photo outside their home Monday, are still cooperating. And that security camera video captured the entire shooting at the Safeway. It shows Loeffner pulling the trigger just two to three feet from Congresswoman Gifford's face. And it also reportedly shows Judge John Roll pushing another man to the ground before he was fatally wounded. While prosecutors build their case, Mark Kelly is less concerned with the shooter than his wife's recovery. I was really angry the first few days. Now I tend not to even focus on it anymore. I'm a very positive person, and so is she. She is not going to let this thing take her out. I mean, she is going to make a full recovery. You know, I don't know what the future holds for, what she's going to want to do. Um, but, you know, she's a fighter. Mark Kelly says he actually comes out here to the memorial and walks around, reads some of the cards that people have left. He says he even took a teddy bear from down here up to his wife's room. She holds it in her bed and often squeezes it. Erica. That's a nice little tidbit there, Ben. Thanks. Ben Tracy in Tucson this morning. No shortage of support, that's for sure. And, it, and it's, it's wild when you see, too, as we see those pictures behind Ben every morning, how much that memorial has grown. Yeah.